Hello. So we are back. It's fine in the morning. It's like half past eight. I'm the first one being on the show. And I have this job left from, uh, I think from Monday because yesterday I was off. So, uh, check here how much damage it's on this desktop. Yeah. So here is blow up. You can see. This MOSFET is blow up. Look how much damage is here. Can we fix this? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can have a look. Exactly what is here. Uh, wow. So here. It's a capacitor which blow up. Yeah, you can see it. The capacitor. The capacitor. Bubbling, you can see, and on the other side, we have a MOSFET. So, I don't understand the connection between the capacitor and the MOSFET. So, what can be the connection? What this MOSFET is doing? <sighs> oh, wait, wait, exactly on this side, one second. So exactly on the other side. Wait, let me take the receipt out here. Yeah? Wow. Actually, they booked in this job. So look, look how wrong you can be. Yeah. So they booked in the job as a charging for repair. Yeah. Wow. So exactly on the other side, we have the charging port, which indeed you can see the middle plastic. It's broken, but the charging port is still fine. I can see each pin there, and it's still fine. Okay, so this makes the job more simple. So, uh, what do we have to do here? Is to remove this capacitor. If it is short, okay, let's come with the power supply. Power supply. So, on this side, we have like one volt, and on this side, we have like 1.8. Okay, so this is the plus, and the yeah, 8 is a short. Let's first remove the capacitor, okay? And after we remove the capacitor, you can see about that MOSFET. Wow, look at this capacitor. I can't even desolder that one, if, even if I try. But it's welded on the, on the board. Okay, let's check for short now. Still short. Oh wow. How can be short? It's short on the board probably. <coughs> probably the board is gone. Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Board is shorted? No, oh, looks fine. So I'm not, I'm not even bothered to desolder that one because it's welded. Let's try again with the power supply. Ground plus, and it's still short. Okay. Let's see, anything is getting hot here? Wow. Do I still have alcohol? Let me check. I think it are two capacitors actually shorted there. No, I don't have alcohol. I believe the second capacitor is shorted. So we have one which is blow up and we have the second one which I can't take it out. Maybe I can. I can. Now let's come with the plus. And there's no short anymore. You can see on the power supply. So, okay, this is ground, and here is short, and here is plus, and it's no short. Now the question is is this desktop working? Because we still have a blow up MOSFET there. 
Oh wait, I said the MOSFET is on the on the main power rail. Unplug the charger. Unplug the charger. Because uh, I just want to see what's going on. Let me plug a charger. Lenovo square pin. Found it. Yeah. Let's plug the charger and see. So the charger is plugged in. Let's check with the multimeter the voltage. We have 4 volts, so 4 volts on the output, and on the input, we have 20 volts. <clears throat> okay, that MOSFET is gone. Let's see if we can remove the MOSFET, I can bet even this one is welded. Okay, so this makes sense, so this is the input MOSFET, and the capacitor goes shorter than the MOSFET. Uh, blow up. That can make sense. Can make a lot of sense. Now, this is a channel P MOSFET, keep in mind. This is a channel P MOSFET. Let me grab the solar iron. You can see by the configuration, you can uh, figure it out. Uh, I think it's a channel P. Must be. Flux, the flux is here, the rosin. Good. Good. Let me get, let me get one second, a proper calibrated fuse. Yeah. Just to know if it's still working or not. Because very simple, you can have a dead super IO and. Uh, Then we are spending the time for nothing if the super eye is dead. So here everything is welded. I can't even solder. Good. So we made a bridge. We use source and drain. Now let's plug the charger. So the charger is plugged in. Let's check the voltage. And on the screen on the meter, you can see 20 volts. So everything looks fine. Where is the power button? Pressing the power button, we have light. I can't believe. We have light on the power button, you can't see. So here we have light. Let's feed the screen and see if it's working. Was that easy? Really? No headache? Okay, let me plug the charger. Press the power button. <clears throat> and it's working! Magic! <laughs> it's working! It's alive! Okay, I will unplug the charger right now. 
because uh, you know this is a tricky job so uh, the job was booked in for the charging port okay so we found a blow up board we have to replace the MOSFET or replace the capacitor or replace the MOSFET and we have to replace the charging port so you see the price is different they booked in the job for the charging port replacement and the job just complicated when uh, we open the, the thing here you can see the is the plastic from the middle of the charging port which is missing but the port is still working well you know here is a high chance to burn the super io just because between the middle pin and the plus is nothing before it was like a piece of plastic but now it's nothing so we, we really have to replace the, the charging port now the charging port it's a vertical one which is a very hard to get you can see the the the, the, the charging port is perpendicular on the board overall you know i wasn't expecting to be that easy and i was thinking that mosfet is part from something else but it's not it's it's on the other side is a charging port yeah well this was an easy one okay so i'll stop now maybe probably i'll find uh, i'll try to find something uh, more exciting more drama in it yeah so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one bye